Hola, teacher. ¿Viste, viste, viste que te dije? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Ya viste que te dije. Ahí estaba escuchando a la teacher. Lo que hello, pasa es que vean. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi, how is it going? Nice. You are sleeping. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me robaste mi frase, tú. It's my frase. It's my you, you phrase. Nice. It's my phrase. <laughs> phrase. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm really happy to see you here. Let's keep your classmates one or two minutes so they can join the class. Tell me, how was your day? Estamos conversando acerca de por qué podemos entrar antes. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just because, you know, um, the group that I had before, uh, from okay. eight to nine, it's over. That's why you can come in, you know, before the teacher. Yeah, okay. I had a class before from eight to nine, and then this group from nine to 10, but it's over, that's why. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, this is um what can I say? It's almost uh, the end of this module, you know? We are just missing for classes. Uh, this is class number 13. Great. Yes. Okay. So we are just missing these for classes. We're about to finish with section number five. This is the class that we're going to start with today, section number five. And um, yes, you're about to move to a different level, you know? So do not forget, do good not evening. forget. Hi, good evening, Emerson. You good need to practice evening, a lot. You need to practice a lot. Do not forget, if you have questions about the topics, uh, vocabulary, pronunciation, just let the teacher know, please. This is the time for you to practice and ask, you know? Because I'm sure, did you practice your English these previous days during the weekend? Did you practice your English? Yes or no? No much. No, no much. A little. Just a, li a little bit. Okay. So yes. you see, that's why we need to practice. This is the time for you to practice. If not, eh, we are not going to be able to, um, in this case, to think in English, you know, to use the vocabulary and expression that we have been learning. It's very important, you know. Yes. So yes, it's very important. Time to start the class already. Do not forget cameras on. I'm still missing Eduardo, Iris, Elena, Emerson. Uh, Fatima is already there. So cameras on so we can interact with each other. We can practice, you know. And thank you so much for being on time. I really like that from you, that you're always on time in the class. Siempre puntuales, and that is very nice, you know? Because it says that you really want to learn. Okay, and also I'm gonna be checking the attendance list at the beginning, not at the end today. You know, at the beginning or probably in five minutes, I'm gonna be checking the attendance list in order to see if you come on time, if you come late, I'm gonna be checking that today, okay? So class, what day is it today? Who can tell me the date? What day is it today? 27th, Mon Monday 27th. Mm, Monday 27th, mm. but that is another way of expressing the date. How do we say that in the correct order? The day is Monday, Monday? 27, June 22, 2022. Yes. Not really. No. no. Who knows? How do we express the date? 27th. Monday, 27th. The June. Not really. No. Who wants no. to give it a try? Monday, Maybe. June 27th. Okay. 2022. Okay, can you repeat that again, please, Daisy? Monday, John 77, 27th, sorry, 2022. That's it. 
there is like a correct order, you know. Monday, we first mention the day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or any day during the week. And after that, we have the month. Monday, June. Monday, June. After that, we're going to mention numbers. They come at the end. Monday, June 27th. 2022 or 2022. That is the correct order. Do not forget. Okay. Please, Fatima, Eduardo, Edwin, Ana Gabriela, camera on, Jasmine as well. So we can start with the class already. In today's class, uh, we're going to have, um, you know, something different because I'm going to be showing you a video in order for you to, to see. As you may know, these are INSAFOR courses, right? These has been, they have been financially eh, supporting the English courses. Están siendo estos eh, cursos son financiados por Insafor, ¿verdad? Vamos a cambiar español un ratito. Entonces es bueno que también ustedes sepan eh, en qué se está trabajando. No solo tal vez en inglés para el trabajo, inglés para todos, que es el curso que ustedes están desarrollando, sino que hay varios cursos que eh, de igual manera ustedes también podrían optar. Yo en mi caso Hace como una semana finalicé dos cursos también con Insafor eh, que me ayudan bastante a mi trabajo. Créanme que es bien bonito eh, contar con esa capacitación, capacitación continua y capacitación en cualquier área. Así que eh, mientras sus compañeros se unen, vamos a ver este video que se nos ha pedido para que ustedes también tengan esa idea. Ok, but before, let me show you. Class number, this is class number 13. Class number 13. And the section that we are going to be covering this week is section number five. What is the topic for section number five? Tell me about, tell me about the family. Your, family. your family. Listen, tell me about your family. So you're, you're going to be practicing and presenting information about your family. But that is the main topic of section number five. And for today's class, we are just going to have that. Asking about families. <laughs> We're going to introduce and review vocabulary about families, you know? We have been already covering this topic. I guess it was back on eh, Principiante 2, creo que fue que vimos este tema, eh, vocabulary about family. And we have been eh, covering this topic previously, but to refresh the information, we're going to be covering this topic today as well. Okay? This is class number 13, three intermediate one group. And Let's start right now. Vamos, chicos. No olviden sus micrófonos, por favor, para que podamos... Teacher, casi comunicar. no le escuchan. No sé si podemos decir los micrófonos. Ahora sí me escuchan. Vaya, estemos pendientes, por favor, pendientes de eh, estar controlando los micrófonos. ¿okay? Porque cuando comparto pantalla, me cuesta visualizar eh, quién es el que tiene el micrófono activo. ¿Ok? Don't worry. So, class, aquí vamos. Vamos a visualizar este video para que ustedes tengan idea que también nota. Vamos a compartir ahorita. Here we go. Okay. El Insafort ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente 
y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente Cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista, y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. Insafor, formando en igualdad. Ok, I don't know. ¿Pudieron identificar el curso? ¿En qué curso están ustedes? ¿En qué grupo? No sé si pudieron identificar. Inglés para el trabajo. Saben que, eh, fíjense que es similar, inglés para el trabajo, más que todo se basa en empresas. Pero eh, sí, ustedes están en, en los cursos online. En este caso es inglés. inglés. Porque sí, hay muchas modalidades, pero eh, inglés corporativo también trabaja con inglés para el trabajo, pero sí, es bien similar créame que solo que se usa otro tipo de material, pero ustedes van como por ese camino también, esa guía así que, bien chicos, a seguir aprovechando, créanme que las becas eh, 
que, que se brindan, pues sí son, son de aprovecharse, porque hay mucha gente queriendo eh, optar por una y muchas veces las pierde por situaciones, pues, que, que se pueden resolver en el instante, ¿ok? Pero bien, chicos, así que era la información que teníamos que presentarles. Eh, from time to time nos piden, pues, compartir con ustedes esta información para que sepan que no solo es inglés lo que ustedes pueden optar, sino que hay eh, diversidad de cursos que son gratis también y que pueden pues, optar con cualquier centro de formación. Miss, Dígame. ¿y podemos tener más de un curso a la vez? Eh, sí, yo en mi caso, como les dije, estaba llevando dos a la vez, los finalicé los dos a la vez, entonces... Sí, y también depende del centro, del centro de, de formación, porque yo los estaba llevando con diferentes centros de formación. Así que creería que sí, sí se puede. Pero okay. en el caso de inglés corporativo, ustedes solo consulten si pueden llevar dos a la vez. Yo creo que, que sí se puede, pero si son de inglés, obviamente no. Tienen que seguir como lineamiento, tal vez tienen que ser sobre un tema extra, ¿verdad? Pero son muy importantes. Bien, class. Hoy si nos vamos a la English class. ¿Cuál era el tema que vamos a ver? What is the topic that we are going to cover today? Do you remember? Tell me about, your, about your family. family. Your family. Tell me family. about your family. And you know, we are going to be talking about your close family, the members of the family who live with you, the ones who live under the same roof, and also people that is part of your family, but probably they don't live uh, with you anymore, you know, because maybe uh, most of you or the majority of you. Uh, yes, Fernando? That was Fernando, right? Yeah, right. Yes. So, Fernando, can you please uh, write it on the chat? Ahí está. Creo que dice que está lloviendo donde está que él. Que no se escucha, ¿verdad? Veamos, le vamos a escribir aquí, Fernando. Ok, ok. Sí, tengo problemas con la, con la señal. Está lloviendo. Ah, sí, bueno, ok. Ok, don't worry, Fernando. Gracias por el esfuerzo de estar en clase. Y yo sé que ya lo viví con ustedes la clase del día jueves, fue, ¿verdad? Que me costó bastante el internet, pero mira, siempre pasa. Así que yo los entiendo, yes. créanme. I understand, I do understand, you know. It's very hard to be eh, having issues with the internet connection. Es algo que, que sí a mí me pone mal, creen. El internet que falle durante la clase. Algo complicado. So, here we go. First, we are going to introduce this topic by listening to a conversation. And then we are going to have some questions about this conversation. It's very interesting conversation, you know. So, I'm just going to play this conversation once. Be ready to listen and pay attention to the details. Here we go. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Okay, Page 31. Exercise three. Part this is the second part of the conversation, but before we continue with the second part of the conversation, let's see, let me ask you, who is this girl in the picture? What's her name? Because she's talking on the phone, but I really need to know about her name. It is Elena, what's her name? What is this girl's 
name, the one that is in the picture. This one right here. Okay. <laughs> Es que no leo, no, no, no leo el nombre de él. Ah, ok. Rita and Sue. We have uh, two girls who are having a conversation, sí. but what's her name? Or who could identify? Who can tell me? What's her name? I think it's uh -huh. Sue. Ok, but you are not sure. ¿Quién está seguro? What's her name? What is the name? I think it's sisters. It's Sue. Sue sisters? Uh -huh. So, she Porque, is... o sea, es que uh -huh. la conversación <laughs> es entre Rita y Sue. Ok, Y I know. Sue le está hablando acerca de su hermana y que trabaja así muy de un proyecto secreto y todo eso uh -huh. y uh, yo, yo entiendo que es la hermana de su okay. pero no he llegado en ningún lado el nombre de ella ok, let's find out don't you worry, listen Rita and Su, they are having a conversation and the first question that we see here in the picture it says, tell me tell me about Tell me about, this is a very useful expression that we can learn and use, you know, tell hey, me about. Okay, wait. This one, tell me about. It can be, tell me about your brother, tell me about your mom, tell me about your grandparents, tell me about your kids, tell me about, you know. If you want to start a conversation and you want to have this type of uh, this type of topics, you know, you can use this expression. But in the conversation, we have another expression in order to get information from people. Can you look for that specific um, idea or question that we can use? ¿Quién puede identificar? ¿Cuál es la otra pregunta que podemos usar? That is very similar to tell me about. Who can find it out? Maybe what does she do? Not really. What about you? What about, there we go. Look, it's very similar. Tell me about your mm. brother or what about your brother, you know? What about your brother? But if you see, this is like uh, the next idea. The first idea is tell me about. Primero le dice, dime sobre your brother and sister. I mean, y ella empieza hablando de quién? De su hermana. And then she says, what about your brother? Es como continuamos con la idea. ¿Y qué sobre tu hermano? Okay. Para darle continuidad a la idea. Tell me about your brother and sister. What about your brother? Okay. And if you see, let's find out about the information. What does her sister do? Empecemos con la hermana. What's her job? Where does she live? Or what information can you tell me about Sue's sister? What can you tell me about her life or profession or information that you can get from the conversation? She working on very secret project right now. Okay. Look. She works or she is working on a very secret project right now. We don't know about her profession, you know? Or do we? Será que sabemos qué profesión tiene la hermana? No. All right. We don't really know about her profession, right? How about Sue's brother? What does he do? Uh -huh. He's a wildlife photographer. He is a 
while life in what is that in Spanish? No, oh, well, give me the idea in English and then we can say that in Spanish. What is a wild life photographer? What is this profession about? Can you describe what is this profession um, about? Um, he hmm? his photographer is a person that uh -huh. loves animals. That, that animals nature. Oh, um, I really like that. Nature, nature. What else can you tell me? Give me your ideas, please. Nature. Hmm? Um, animals. Forest. What como la fauna. Not Spanish, what type of animals? In English. Uh -huh. um, In English. Tigers, lions, tigers, jungle. Lion, zebra. I like that word. Thank you, Luis. In the jungle, he said. I really like that. So you can have an idea in English, you know? A wildlife photographer, of course, is somebody who is taking pictures, documenting, you know, with pictures, this type of places like the jungle or open areas in which we have wild animals. Tenemos animales salvajes, wild animals, you know, like tigers, elephants. Um, what else? Yeah, I, I, I cannot remember, you know, the example of wild animals, but that is the idea. Wildlife. Monkeys. Monkeys. Monkey. Monkey. Yeah. Um, zebra, zebra, um, so a good example, cheetah, cheetah, mother in law, <laughs> not really, that's not part of it. <laughs> Lion, tiger, <laughs> okay. So, a very good example is about people who work at Nat Geo as a photographer or a um, documenting, Lo llamamos así documentando, documenting. Because it's not only pictures, but also videos as well, right? Documenting, you know, wildness. So, wow, what an interesting profession, you know? Would you like to be a wildlife photographer or not? Very interesting. It's very interesting, very right? Very good. It's, very it's good. a very nice It's dangerous, know? dangerous work. I, I know it's a very dangerous work, you know, but I guess it's interesting. It's interesting, okay? And look, what else can we take from this conversation? What else can you tell me about this conversation? ¿Qué más me dicen de esta familia? Because there are two important details about a, her brother and her sister. What else can you tell me? Oh, the traveling in the Amazon. Who's traveling in the Amazon? A brother, the so brother. Rita. Who's brother? Or Rita, no? His oh. brother. Who's brother? Oh. Exactly. He's traveling in the Amazon. Well, look, this is interesting. Okay. Let's continue because right now we are going to find out about sus parents. We are going to finish with sus parents. Let's listen to the conversation. But let me see if I can, I cannot. <laughs> listen and practice. Okay, let's listen again. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, exercise three, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. 
Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, who are we talking about in this so second part of the conversation? About Rita's or Sue? Whose Rita. information are we listening to? Rita. 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 Okay, exactly. Is Rita telling Sue about her brother or sister? About what member of the family is she telling us about? Their parents. Okay, their, their parents. Your parents. Or her, my parents. Her oh, parents. Excellent, we've been about her parents. Because we're talking about Rita and she's a girl, her parents. So could you listen about the information? Where do they live and what do they do? They live in Austin, Texas. Exactly, in a small city in Austin, Texas. And what do they do? Uh, her mother is teaching the university and okay. her father is carpenter. There we go, you know. But wow, she's not Elvis, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. <is right. laughs> yeah, so let's listen again that part so you can, you know, uh, confirm that he's right. He's right. The conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? Okay, here we go. So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's Okay, they live in Texas. Where in Texas? In Austin. 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 Austin, Texas. Exactly. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Is this a big or small city? Let's practice listening. Is this a big or small city? A small city. Small city, but what is the comment about this city? Nice. This is a nice city. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, my mother is teaching in the university there. She is a professor in the university of Texas. She is a professor in the University of Texas, you know? So do you know the difference between a professor and a teacher? Who can tell me? What is the difference between a professor and a teacher? Because she is a professor, she's not a teacher. What's the difference? Any idea? Yes, a oh, professor uh, is university. Uh, teacher, no. A teacher is the high school. Okay, you're right. You're right, you know. Uh, most of the time, it is not the age of the students. No tiene que ver nada con la edad de los estudiantes. No, it doesn't matter. It's just because um, professors are, how can I say this? are more prepared, you know, they study more than a regular teacher. Teacher can be anyone, you know? We can call teacher to anyone who is teaching us to do something, you know? Teacher puede ser cualquier maestro que nos esté enseñando a alguien. Es como una categoría, categoría bien amplia, you know? He's my uh, music or music teacher, you know, es mi teacher de Cualquier cosa, yo he tenido maestros de diferentes cosas, ¿ok? Pero profesor sí ya es como una profesión. Estudio para ser maestro. Será como Dale decir ocupación. Y tendría una, especial, una especialidad. Not really. We can have different type of professors in any kind of subject. But yeah, most of the time we can find professors eh, in a superior level or superior teacher, in this case, universities. Por eso le llamamos así profesor, you know? Pero sí, también existen eh, maestros, teachers, okay? 
So that is the difference. No sé si quedó clara la diferencia entre teacher y professor. Is it clear? It's yes. clear. It's clear? Okay. So this is just extra information for you to know. Okay. So am I a teacher or a professor? What do you think? Am I a teacher or a professor? <laughs> professor. Okay. Professor the professor. Yeah, right. Because yes, I have like the speciality, right? Mi, mi, eh, mi diploma, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, mi especialidad sí es exactamente ser maestra, estudiar para ser maestra. Así que sí, podría ser profesor, pero don't worry, you know? Eh, muchos no les gusta que le digan teacher. Ah, I don't really care about that, you know? Teacher también. Es como muy común también aquí en El Salvador o en países latinos decirles teacher. Y no hay problema, porque un teacher eh, para mí también tiene la misma importancia que un profesor. That's it. En la última parte, about his parents, Rita's parents, but specifically about his dad. What is his profession or his occupation? What does he do? Elvis, what does he do? ¿Qué hacía el papá de Rita? Yes. He's a carpenter. He's a car carpenter, you know? So that is an actual a profession as well, you know? There is people who work for that, you know, the, who live from that, you know? Very nice carpenters, you know? So tell me about your family. Tell me about your family. That is the main topic about this class. If I ask you, what vocabulary do you remember about the members of the family? What can you tell me, okay? Vocabulary about members of the family. Let's go ahead, everybody. Give me your information. Siblings. Siblings. There we go. Continue. Brother, sister, Brother, grandmother, grandfather. Mother, grandfather. Father. Yeah. Father Cousin, yeah. uncle, Husband, wife, uncle. husband. Okay. Um, what else? Son, daughter. Grandmother. Son, daughter, grandmother. Brother in law, sister in law. Excellent. There we go. Mother in law. Okay. So you see. You already know this vocabulary. So what are we going to do? We're going to do a something very specific today. Thank you, Edgardo, you know? He's coming up with all the vocabulary he, that he has stored in his mind. Muy bien, Edgardo. I have a, this information that we are still missing, you know, a couple of examples in here, but this is like, like a very complete a list of the members of the family. If you see, there are different ways in which we call the same member of the family. It can vary for informal or formal ways of calling them. Puede variar por formalidad, you know, but it doesn't matter. You decide on how to call them. For example, look at the first one. What do we have here? Mother and mom. Mm. Mom. Mom. Which is the informal way of saying this uh, member of the family? Mom. Mom, right? You know? It's más informal, you know? But it's acceptable. What do we have then? Mother, mom. Tenemos que más. Father. Is dad or daddy. Ah, dad or exactly. daddy. Exactly. Muy bien. Daddy. Muy bien. Dad or daddy. Which one do you use? ¿Cuáles son ustedes? Mom, dad, or father, or mother? Which one do you prefer? Mom and daddy. Mommy mom and daddy. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Incluso cambio. So I'm mommy. You know, she's my mommy. Mommy. She's mommy. Okay, he's daddy. Mm -hmm. It's like a sweet way in which we can refer to our parents. Muy bien. Mom, mother, father. Dad or daddy, that's okay. What do we have after that? Who are they? Mother-in-law and father-in-law. ¿Quiénes son ellos? Ajá, Elvis, who are they? Teacher. Mother-in-law. Yes. She is the mother swingle, of swingle. my wife. Okay. I like that definition. She is the mom of my wife. And who is the father-in-law, according to your information? 
He is the father. Uh, father, the father Madrastro. Uh, not really. The, the, he is the, the father. father of my wife. Ah, muy bien. Y para, la, y para la chica, ¿cómo sería la información? She is the mom of my husband. Wife. Husband. And he is the father yeah. of my Teacher, en la escritura siempre tiene que llevar esos guiones. Yes, you know, mm -hmm. así se escribe eh, incluso si van a un documento de Word, le va a reconocer o les va a pedir corregir con guiones siempre. Mother in law, father in law. Hay muchas palabras en inglés que siempre llevan guión. Casi siempre son las que llevan más de dos palabras. Por ejemplo, miren, ice cream. Se escribe sin guión, pero si ya tenemos ice cream, stand, digamos, un puesto de lados, ya lleva un guión. Perdón, aquí van tres. Ice cream stand. Es como la separación que hacemos, pero es una sola palabra con, no, al contrario, tres palabras que significan una sola cosa. Por eso se llevan los tres guioncitos, ¿ok? Siempre escribámoslo así. Mother in law, father in law. And we also have these that are very similar. Who are they? Sister in law and brother in law. Who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Cuñado y cuñada. Brothers. Cuñado. Uh, of my wife. Uh -huh. Cuñado y cuñada. They can be the brother and the sister of your wife or brother and sister of your husband. Mother in law, father in law. Sister and brother in law. Very good. Let's continue. How about this one? This is very, uh, well, it's not that specific, you know, but we can still use it. Who is my partner or who you can consider your partner? ¿Quién será él? Um, Ella. Un compañero de vida. Parejo. Uh -huh. Parejo. <laughs> Pareja, I can be, you know, in Spanish it sounds weird. El marido. En español suena bien raro, en inglés suena bien formal, you know. He's my partner, she's my partner, pero en español no, you know, hay muchas formas de llamar, you know? Y so, ese, es solo yeah, para, yeah. ese es solo para varón, el marido, o para decir la mujer. De... It's both, for girls or for boys, but when you are not, you are not married. No están casados, you can use that expression. She is my partner, he is my partner, you know? And you live together, you know? Whenever you live together, but you are not married, you can use partner. Ahí estamos con la explicación. And what is this? This is a category. A teacher, pero eso es solo compañero en sí, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. está roommates, que es compañero de cuarto. ¿no? Ajá. Por eso les digo, cuando viven juntos, pero sí están en una relación, of course, si no, si ya viven... Okay. Eh... Es como decir que están acompañados. Ah, exacto, exacto. That, that is the, the word. Okay. Teacher, pero, pero, pero se ajá. puede usar esa palabra en otro contexto. Como, fíjense Compañero, que... Compañero, por ejemplo, de clase. Pero llamémosle diferente, mejor. He's, he's my roommate, si viven juntos, son amigos. Mejor así, he my classmate. Uh, my class. Uh -huh. Y también depende del contexto, Elvis. Muy bien, si estamos trabajando en la clase, in the English class, y yo les pregunto, who is your partner? ¿Quién es su compañero? Obviamente estoy preguntando, compañero de clase, right? ¿Con no, quién están no trabajando? Marido. No, ajá, no, 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 don't confuse that. Teacher, come on, no. ¿Quién es su compañero? Pero en este caso depende del contexto. Si estamos en la clase partner, it can be a synonym for, eh, ¿cómo sería en español? Compañero, compañera. Okay? That's it. Roommate. Mejor llamémosle roommate or classmate. Parent. Te decía, esta es una categoría. Parent. ¿Quién entra en esta categoría? Parents o parents. Los parientes. Parientes. No, sí. Papá y mamá. Exactly. Papá y mamá. Only ah. mom and dad. ¿Cómo decimos parientes en in inglés? Aquí no está en esta lista. Le voy a agregar. 
how do we say parientes? O sea, todos esos familiares y los queremos meter en una categoría. How do we say that in English? Ajá. Saquemos ese vocabulario que tenemos ya. How do we say that? Family. Not really. No. Mm. Do you remember? No, nobody. Relation, no? family. No. Family members. No. Come on, class. Relatives. Relatives. They are What? my relatives. 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 Esos son los que llamamos en español parientes. They are my relatives, ¿no? Son mi familia. Y puede haber hermanos, hermanas, tíos, o sea, como una mezcla de todo. Mis familiares, my relatives. But parents or parent, it is only when we refer to mom and dad. That's it. Nadie más entra en esa categoría. Mom and dad only. Parents, mis papás. Parents. Look at this one. We have another category. Children. Children. This is plural. Children. You know? Niños. So, niños. Niños no? and daughter. Mm -hmm. So, who are in, who are included in this category? Your son. Sobrino. Um, and daughter. Not really. Esos no serían sobrinos, serían hijos. Hijos, ok. They are my children. Y es en plural. ¿Cómo sería en singular la categoría? Son and um, daughter. daughter. Child. Y adentro Child. de ella van son and son daughter. And daughter. Depende, ¿verdad? Depende. Si solo es uno, ustedes son específicos. She is my daughter. She is my... Oh. Arriba. That's right. It's right here. Thank you. He is my son. O pueden decir también, he is my child. She is my child. Es mi... ¿Cómo sería la traducción en español? Mi niño, mi niña. Para no decir hijo, hija. Es como una forma diferente de llamar. Children. La bendición. Child. La bendición. <laughs> yeah, right? La bendición. Yeah. Yes. So he is my child. He is my son. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Uncle and niece. ¿Quiénes son ellos? Uncle and niece. Uncle, uncle el tío. El tío y el tío. La tía. La tía. Uncle ah. is the brother of my mother yes. or my father. Vale. Let's do this. No. Para que no se me confundan, les pongo uncle and aunt. Tío. Son iguales. ¿Quiénes sí. son ellos? Uncle and aunt. Tío y tía. Tío, tío. tío y tía. Ah, sí. muy bien. Uncle. Hace referencia a sobrina. You know, in this case, yes. Cambia para niño y para niña. Mis. Mis. This is for. Sobrina. ¿Y mm. para niños cómo decimos entonces? No. No. Nephew. 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 Very good. Nephew. Girls. Niece. Nephew. Boy. Niece and nephew. Niece and nephew. Niece. No nice. Okay. Niece. There we go. Is it clear? I guess. Yes. Very It's clear. Grandson. Who Nieto. is this? Nieto. Grandson is for boys. boys. Granddaughter is for girls. Girls. How about this one? The category. Grand. Child or grand children. Ambos. Aquí cuando solo se refiere a uno y no está siendo específico, si es niño o niña. Okay. Podemos decir, he is my grandchild, she is my grandchild. You know? And we are expressing uh, the same information about grandkids or grandchildren. About this one, husband and wife. Who are they? Husband and wife. The cousin, the husband, esposa, 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 esposa. Very good job. Uh, yes, Aleli. 
Cousin es primo o prima. Uh, eso. Cousin. Ah, we didn't cover this one, right? Cousin, yes. This can be for both. Girls and boys. Okay. Cousin. How about this one? What is he or she doing here? Look. My ex. It can be a girl or a boy, you know? Wow. I didn't know my we ex. have my ex, you know? <laughs> my ex. This is not in plural, you know? My ex. My ex. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no lo recuerde que lo va a hacer llorar. El tóxico. <laughs> tóxico. Yeah, toxic girl, toxic boy, you know, my ex. So, I don't know, but for me, I didn't, I, I wouldn't have included this one la as historia. a member of the family, you know, because this Te is. Lo agregan a la familia. Yeah, right. Why? Dicen, okay. es, la, la, es la histórica. <laughs> no sé por qué está aquí, pero ahí está bien. Sigamos, sister and brother out. This is quite easy. You already know about this one. Pas, grandma, grandpa, or grandmother, grandfather, and the El abuelo. grandparent. Abuela, abuelo, y abuelos. Exactly, that's it. Y la forma informal de llamarlo sería grandma. Grandpa. 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 He's my grandpa. She's my grandma. Can I get this one right. out? Oh, this is interesting. Stepmom, stepdad. Mm. Who are they? Madrastra y madrastro. Madrastra y padrastro. Ay. Muy bien. Entonces, como decimos, hijastro, hijastra. Any idea? Step daughter. Step daughter. Step daughter. Step. Step. Lo mismo, uh -huh. miren, step y le agregamos son, va junta la palabra, no dividida. En step. Step son. Step daughter. daughter. Alguna que no esté en la lista y que quieran agregar. Which one? How do you say bisabuelo? Bisabuela. Biscabuelo y biscabuela. <laughs> How do we say that in English? Who can tell? <laughs> hmm? Grand, grandmother. <laughs> grand, grand. Grand, grand. Bis, <laughs> grand. Bis, grand. Perquísima, pero. Sugar daddy, perdón. Sugar daddy. No, he's not part of the family. Sugar and mom and daddy. No, no, eso no está en la Teacher, esa, yes. esa palabra, ¿qué relación tiene? Digo yo, sugar daddy. O sea, yo no le hay ninguna relación para lo que realmente el significado de eso. <laughs> Great <laughs> grandmother. Great exactly. There we go. Okay, let me stop sharing this. Si no, oh, pregunté nada, solo él vi fue, miren, y buscó la información. ¿Qué pasa con los demás? Go and look for the information. Yes, como decimos, bisabuelo. Que él le cargó más rápido del internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excuses. Great, grand, mother, great, grand. Father. 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 Bisabuelo, bisabuela. Creería que está yes. Se divide o no con guiones, Elvis? I'm not sure about that, I guess. Yes, right? yes. 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 Porque son tres palabras para expresar una sí. sola persona. So, yes, dash. Ah, pues démosle a tatarabuelo. How do we say that? <laughs> <laughs> great, yes, great, 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 great. We just repeat the beginning, you know, great, great. We can proceed and continue. You know, with the same expression. I'm going to give you five minutes. I'm not sure. No estoy segura si vamos a finalizar, but yeah, let me try. We have this information and I need you to classify this information into three categories. Primer categoría, girls in the family, Oh, 
voy a poner acá. No cambia el tatarabuelo. Great grandfather aparece. Voice in the family. <ríe> ¿Y qué categoría o qué miembros de la familia entran en ambas? Both. ¿No? Girls in the family, boys in the family, and boys, ambos. Can you give me an example? Dame un ejemplo de ambos. No Emblems. Uh -huh. Cousin. Cousin puede ser para girls and boys. Okay? Parent. Yes. Parent. Parent. Muy bien. So, girls in the family, boys in the family, and both. Let me give you, vamos, cinco minutos suficiente para clasificar esta información. Ya les envío esta imagen a WhatsApp. Here we go. Please, trabajemos en grupos grandes para que puedan clasificar la información. Here we go. Do not forget to say hi to your classmates. Salúdense con sus compañeros. Say hello. I was your weekend and proceed on working in this activity. Here we go, class. Okay. Go and work with your classmates. Mm -hmm. Sería mother, 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 mom, mom, mother in law, mother in law, eh, era uncle, es sobrino, verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Nice, sobrino. Nice, nice. Nice. nice, no, no, no. ¿Cuál es la niña? Eh, Miss. No. Miss que no es Miss sobrina. Es sobrina. Uh -huh. Sobrino no era Miss T-shirt. Sí, uncle ni, is, es tío. tío. No, pero la otra es cómo se pronuncia. New Nifu. Nifu. Ese es, es niña o niño. Niña. Niño. Sobrino. Nifu. Ah, oh, sobrino, ajá, ajá. Y Miss es That's sobrina. Wrong. Ah, es niña, vale. So, nice, entonces, grandson, eso es para niño. Mm -hmm. Granddaughter es para niño. Granddaughter. Si quiere decir que la sobrina es bien chévere, se dice nice niece. <risa> Oh, yeah, so... right? It's a nice news. <laughs> I really like that one. <laughs> Vaya, eh, quiero ver. Out. Out. Estia. Estia. Mm -hmm. mm. Sister in law. Step mother. Step daughter. daughter. Step daughter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Son, son, brother, brother grandfather.
you finish? Finish? No? Remember, no, teacher. speaking time, speaking time, you know? So you can talk to your classmates. It's not individual job, it's a speaking time in group. Okay, we just have one minute, so go ahead, please. Okay. Okay, time is over, you know, time flies. This was a very short class. But don't you worry, if we, we didn't finish with this activity, we can continue with this activity tomorrow, okay? The idea is for you to practice the vocabulary and also to classify uh, members of the family because in that way it is easier to remember the information and do not confuse uh, some words in English, you know? So let's wait for your classmates. Okay. You know, I said that I was going to check the attendance list at the beginning, but you know, yes, I prefer to do it at the end. Prefiero hacerlo al final, I prefer to do so at the end. If not, I will have to check it twice. And I prefer to do it at the end. Bien, class, I know we didn't finish with this activity today because we have a lot of vocabulary, but don't worry, tomorrow this is going to be the first activity from the class so you can finish classifying the information about this topic. As of right now, I'm going to call the attendance list. Please be ready to listen to your name and say here or present. Aquí vamos, Aleli Concepcion. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Ana Gabriela. Okay, she's right there. Anna Karina. Anna Stephanie. Yeah, right, because she has her microphone on. But maybe she's having problems. Hey, Anna Stephanie is in the class. And I guess not, right? Andrea Isabel. Brian Edwin. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Eden. Present here. Cesar Alexander. Here, teacher. Cecilia Rosalina. Daisy Magdalena. Present, teacher. Edgardo Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Eduardo Elias. <clears throat> I just got the sheet today. I never want more. I never want. Okay, Edwin Ernesto. Present, teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present, teacher. Emerson Alexander. Present. Fatima Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Fernando Arturo. Present, teacher. Gabriela Lisette. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Glenda Abigail. Ella está enferma, teacher, por eso no pudo estar en la... Okay, thank you for letting me know. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present. 
and Jessica Janet. Present teacher. There we go. So, thank you so much for joining this class. It was a very nice class. Do not forget to practice. And tomorrow we are going to continue with the same topic, similar activity, but you're gonna be ready to tell the information about your family, okay? So I really hope you to have a great night and see you tomorrow, class. Bye-bye. See you, Thank you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Good night, guys. Good night to you. Bye-bye.